Greetings, I'm Robin Caddy, and this is Book of the Week number 21, Sapers, Ladies and Gentlemen of the Congo, by Tariq Zaidi. It's published by Kera in 2020, and this 176-page book is, well, it's only £24 at the moment from you know where, recommended retail price 32 It's a great book. I first became aware of Zaidi when he gave a talk online for the Martin Parr Foundation in April 2021. I honestly feel like this is one of the best photo books I've bought this year. Last week, we were thinking about the differences that there might be between a quote-unquote local photographer and, you know, a visitor. Um, the differences of taking photos of places and people. And Zaidi represents the visitor this week to Sidibe's local last week. There's a link in the top right corner to that video. I've always wanted to say that. Zaidi is an interesting case study as he only turned to photography as a career in 2014 after years in executive management and he has quite an interesting mission statement for his photography. He describes himself as having a passion of capturing the dignity, strength and soul of people within their environment. He's worked in 19 countries across four continents, mainly in the developing world, and his work has been shown in over 75 international exhibitions and featured in more than 700 publications. I do recall from the talk that he gave that he'd spent a huge percentage of his time photographing in Africa, totalling several years when all added up. Some of you might know him from his video and photos of the Mandari of South Sudan. There's a link to that below. So although Zaidi is not local, he's certainly not tourist in this equation. His work with the Sapers was made over several trips and he funds each trip by selling his photo essays all around the world, while he compiles a larger, fuller body of work over those several trips. He also is working somewhat collaboratively here. The Sapers are in some sense performers and they perform here for him as they do for themselves and their communities. The majority of the text in the book is detailing what each outfit consists of, and the thoughtfully written introduction helps us to learn more about the origins of the sapeurs. It comes from a wonderful phrase, Société des ambianceurs et des personnes élégants. And while my French pronunciation is terrible, I love the fact that that translates as the society of ambience makers and elegant people. The tradition is rooted in combating colonial superiority and subverting power dynamics. And I really hope you enjoy these photos.
Well, that was Ladies and Gentlemen of the Congo by Tarek Zaidi. I hope you agree that that's a fantastic book. I think he's a brilliant photographer and his use of colour. I am not much of a colour photographer, but this to me is as strong as the work of somebody like uh, David LaChapelle, where the colour is just everything. So, so good. So the, the, the collaborative part of this work is, is brilliant. I never knew that I needed a Japanese sword umbrella before today. Uh, or before reading this book, so that's that's something. Um, I like the fact that we get the kind of the detail shots, we get the environmental shots. I think every shot was taken within something like 100 or 400 meters of where the subject lived, um, and you can see that it really is a, a collaborative work. Particularly, for, I like how many children are in this book and how much joy the sappers bring. And I like, you know, you've just got this little light bulb in the top left-hand corner here, just illuminating this scene, and we see this lady laughing and the kid absolutely transfixed, and the sapper doing what they do, which is providing some kind of service to the community. What did, what was the what was the phrase that they used about themselves? The society of ambient makers and elegant people. And I think that sums it up very well indeed.